Hey, I'm Nate Savage, and welcome to this guitar lesson on the five pentatonic scale shapes. Pentatonic scales are kind of the meat and potatoes of lead guitar. That's because they sound so good with so many different styles of music, and they're relatively easy to start improvising with. This lesson is going to be more of a reference for the five basic pentatonic scale shapes, so you can come back to this over time and learn all five shapes if you want to. Now, let me say this. It's more important for you to have one of these scale shapes down really well and be able to use it in your playing than it is for you to learn all five but not really be able to use them. We're going to talk about major pentatonic scales through the rest of this lesson, but we're also going to apply this, what we learn, to minor pentatonic scales. And at the end of this lesson, I have a really cool jam track for you that's going to make practicing these scale shapes pretty fun. Before we get into the actual five standard pentatonic scale shapes, I just want to talk about what a pentatonic scale actually is. Now, Literally, all pentatonic scale is, what it means is a five note scale. And we have a typical pentatonic scale, this one right here, that we use. And then back to the octave, right? Now, we're gonna be in the key of G major for the rest of this lesson, so what I wanna do is reference this back to the G major scale. A major scale is a seven note scale, so if you had a G major scale, you would have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then back to G, so that's seven notes plus the octave. Now, if you wanted to make a major scale into a major pentatonic scale, all you have to do is this, and remember this formula, leave out the fourth and seventh scale degrees of a major scale. So omit the fourth and seventh notes out of that major scale. So you would have one, two, three, leave out the fourth, which would normally be right there, and go right to the fifth. Then the sixth is fine, and normally the seventh would be right here. You're gonna leave that out. And that's your five notes, and then you can go back to the octave too. So you have one, two, three, five, six, one. With that in mind, let's go ahead and jump into this first major pentatonic scale shape. And we're just gonna kind of work our way up the fretboard with all these five shapes. So start down here with your middle finger on this G root note, since we're gonna be in the key of G major. And all these five major pentatonic scale shapes, all five of them have just two notes per string, so I'll be giving you some technique tips to get through these as we learn them. So you're gonna play third fret with your middle finger, fifth fret with your pinky on that low E. Next string over, and the string after that actually, the A and D strings have the same shape or the same pattern. So play the second fret and fifth fret with your first and fourth fingers. And the exact same thing on the next string. And the more you can see patterns like this that repeat in scales, the faster it's gonna make it for you to memorize scale shapes. So, so far you have. And you know, just work on that, get it under your fingers. And as we go through these, you know, you can play legato with hammer-ons and pull-offs. Or you can pick every note too if you want, it's really up to you. The next string in the shape is going to be your G string, and that's going to be first finger on the second fret of the G, third finger on the fourth fret of the G, so that's your shape for that string. And to finish this shape off on your B and E strings, you have the exact same patterns on those two strings. And it's going to be the third fret with your middle finger on that B, then the fifth fret with your pinky. Same thing on the next string, like I said. And work on these, you know, just add one string at a time until you get the shape down. And then work on going up the scale and coming back down to that's important. So, you know, if you have your guitar, grab it and try to go through this shape with me. And one thing you're gonna really wanna do is try to be aware of where the root notes are. So, if you look on the scale diagram, the root notes are gonna be the black dots, the filled in black circles. And a really good way to help you memorize where those locations are for the root notes, just kind of pause on them when you get to them. So, you have one right here on the third fret of the high E. You have there on the fifth fret of the D string, and then one on the third fret of the E string. And another thing that's really advantageous to do, you don't have to do this right now, but once you get these shapes down, and if you want to as you go along, try to visualize the chord shape 
that goes with each of these major pentatonic scales. And I'll have that information for you here on the screen. This E-shaped bar chord, that's a G, is the chord that goes along with this shape that we just learned. So try to visualize that as you're learning this scale shape. The second scale shape up the fretboard starts right here, or this is going to be kind of our starting point on the fifth fret of the D string. That is a G note, so that's going to be kind of our reference point. You can play the notes below that too, but we're going to start here. So middle finger, fifth fret, pinky, seventh fret. Next string over is going to be the fourth fret with your first finger. Pinky on the seventh fret there. That's on the G string. So that's the pattern. So just working, getting those two down. And then you can move over to the B string and play the fifth and eighth frets with your first and fourth fingers. Then hop over to the high E string and play the fifth and seventh frets with your first and third fingers. And take this slowly, you know, take one scale shape per day or one scale shape per week or month or whatever it takes for you to really get this down well. And again, like I said, you can play the notes below the D string that you started on. And the cool thing about those notes in this particular scale shape is they're the exact same pattern. So you're gonna have seven, five with your pinky and middle finger and seven, five on that low E string too with your pinky and middle finger. So. Now the chord shape that goes along with this particular major pentatonic scale shape is a D chord. And if you don't know this, that's fine. But if you are a little bit more advanced or an intermediate student, that's the chord shape that you want to think of. See how it's a D shape right here? That's a chord shape you want to think of as you're playing through this. And what that does, that helps you visualize the chord tones in that scale. So when you start playing over changes, it's a little bit easier for you. So visualize that chord and then where the root notes are too. Right there on the fifth fret of the D string. And there on the eighth fret of the B string with your pinky. The third major pentatonic scale shape we're going to go over has its lowest root note on the 10th fret of the A string. That's going to be with your pinky right here. And you can play the notes below that too. That's kind of our home base. So play that note. That's a G. And then go over to the next string and play the 7th and ninth frets with your 1st and 3rd fingers. Same exact pattern on the next string over, which is nice. So 7 and 9 with your 1st and 3rd fingers. Then we're coming up to a root note right here. It's really important to visualize that and memorize where it is. But right there on the eighth fret with your middle finger of the B string, and your pinky's gonna grab the 10th fret. So, so far. And on the high E string, play seven and 10 with your first and fourth fingers. And I know we're going fast here, but don't worry about it. You don't have to have this all down by the time the video is over. Stop the video, work on these if you need to. And again, you can come back to this video as many times as you want to to get these shapes down. And the notes below on this shape are below our lowest root note we have here. This is the seventh fret with your first finger on that A string. Pinky, same exact pattern on this string, so pinky on the 10th fret. First finger on the seventh. And let me just tell you, sometimes people don't use their pinky as much as I'm doing with these shapes. Sometimes, sometimes people will use their first and third fingers more, so feel free to do that if that's more comfortable for you. And the chord shape that goes with this particular pentatonic scale shape is a C chord shape. So you want to be thinking about that shape as you play through the scale and where the root notes are. Here on the 10th fret of the A and on the 8th fret of the B.
The fourth major pentatonic scale shape actually uses the same root note that we're using on the 10th fret of the A string with your pinky, but this time we're gonna grab it with our middle finger. And that's gonna be our lowest root note or anchor point again. So the notes on that string for this shape are your middle finger, 10th fret, pinky, 12th. The next two strings over have the exact same pattern, so you're gonna play your first finger right there on the 9th fret and your pinky on the 12th. And again, same exact thing on the G. First, fourth, on the ninth, and twelfth. So. And that root note right there on the twelfth fret of the G string with your pinky is that G note. That's your next root note up. And the B and E strings, high B and E strings, have the same pattern on there, so they're going to be easy to remember before you tune. That's going to be the 10th and 12th with their 2nd and 4th fingers for both strings. And again, some people will grab that with their 1st and 3rd fingers, and that's totally fine. Now the notes below that on the low E string are again the 12th and 10th frets, so you can include those two. And the chord shape that goes along with this one is just an A-shaped bar chord. So visualize where the root notes are and try to visualize that chord shape as you play through the scale. The fifth and final major pentatonic scale shape that we're going to learn has its low root note on the 15th fret of the low E string, that G note right there with your pinky. And you can play the note below that on this string too, that's just on the 12th fret with your first finger. So those two notes. Now the next three strings all have the same pattern, so that's gonna be really nice and really easy and fast to memorize. It's gonna be 12, 14 with your first and third fingers. So 12 and 14, 12, 14, 12 and 14. And the next highest root there is there on the 12th fret of the G string. So, so far for that shape, you have this. Now, the high B and E strings are the same shape or the same pattern as the low E string. So you're gonna have 12 and 15 with your first and pinky finger. And then the exact same thing, 12, 15 with your first and pinky again. And you're all the way back up to a G note, another root note, and they're on the 15th fret of the high E string. Now, since these scale shapes all have two notes per string, they're gonna feel very symmetrical and very easy to go back and forth. And when you're picking these things, it's always gonna be an even number of pick strokes on each string. So, down, up, next string, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And if you come back down, it's kind of the same thing, only the opposite. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And one thing that helps me to kind of get through the strings a little bit when I'm picking major pentatonic scales or pentatonic scales that are, you know, traditional two notes per string is I slant the pick a little bit when I'm going, when I'm ascending through the scale. If I start with a down stroke. That just helps me lead to the next string a little bit better and not get caught up in the strings. If I'm descending through the scale and I'm working my way back down the strings, I slant my pick the other way a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to get through the strings that way too. So we kind of want to work on that a little bit. So those are the five major pentatonic scale shapes. Now, the cool thing is, once you know the five major pentatonic scale shapes, you already automatically know the five minor pentatonic scale shapes. Let me show you why. If you recall, the formula for a major pentatonic scale was one, two, three, five, six. Those are the notes there, and this all relates back to the major scale, right? So that's a G major pentatonic scale taken from a G major scale. If you go to the sixth scale degree of a G major scale and start that same pentatonic scale on that sixth scale degree, you'll automatically be playing 
a minor pentatonic scale. It's just the relative minor to whatever major key you're in. So if the sixth scale degree of G major was E and you started there, you would automatically be playing an E minor pentatonic scale. Now you can do this using the scale shape we just went over. If you go down to the sixth scale degree of that major pentatonic scale, or that major scale right here, this E note on the 12th fret of the low E string. And all you have to do is play that exact same shape, but now your root notes shift to where the E's are, or the relative minor or sixth scale degree of that major scale. And you can play that exact same shape, and now you're playing an E minor pentatonic. Now listen to this, I'm gonna play a G major chord and play that scale shape starting on a G note and it'll sound major, check it out. Now I'm gonna play an E minor chord and start on the E note with a sixth scale degree and listen to how the quality of this scale changes from major to minor. That about sums up all the information that I want to give you in this lesson. Now I just want to go over all five shapes with you again quickly and just be mindful of where the major root notes are, or in this case the G's, and where the minor root notes are, and that would be E's in this case. So let's just go over this first shape real quick. You don't have to have these down now. If I start on that G and emphasize the other G notes, it's gonna sound major. I start on the E and emphasize the E notes. It's gonna sound minor. Now the next shape up. And again, if I emphasize these G notes, it'll sound major. If I emphasize that E, it'll sound minor. There's another E right there. Again, you don't have to have all these down quickly, just take one a week or one a month and really work on it, work on memorizing where the root notes are and memorizing what chord shape goes with each of these major pentatonic skills like we went over. So you have this for that particular skill. The next one up, to an E to give it a minor sound, right? Next one. There's an E right there you can emphasize to give it a minor sound. There's another one. And there's another one. Finally, the last one, and this is probably the best one to kind of get down the difference between minor and major sound, because you can start on this E note right here. For a minor sound, and start on the G if you want a major sound. This may seem like a lot of information for you, and you know, it is, so take it one step at a time. Add this to your daily practice routine and work on just one scale shape at a time. Now, to help you with this, I have a jam track for you that I've made custom just to help you work on this stuff. It's basically four measures of a G major chord followed by four measures of an E minor chord. And as you're working on these shapes, listen to how it sounds over the G major chord and, you know, and try to emphasize the G root notes. And when it changes to an E minor, listen to how the scale automatically changes sound and it kind of conforms to that minor chord. Let me give you a quick example of how you can use this jam track in your daily practice. What I'll do is go through the first scale shape slowly and then I'll go through all five up and down the fretboard for you.
That's it for this lesson. Now remember, this is more of a reference for the basic five pentatonic scale shapes. Don't feel like you have to have all of these down right now. Come back to this video as many times as you need to until you know, you're know you pretty familiar with all five shapes. And remember, it's more important to have one of these shapes down really well and be able to use it than it is to you know explore all five but not really have them down very well to be able to use them. Now, the guitar system explores pentatonic scales way more in depth than this. So if this is something you're interested in, you might wanna check that out. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you wanna see more lessons like this, just like the video or leave a comment below to let me know. I just launched a brand new guitar lesson series that you can get right now for free. Just go to guitarlessons.com slash free dash series. I'll see you later.